Hi everyone, today's look is slightly spontaneous. I didn't exactly try this out any time before. I was kind of just playing around with this, so I hope that you guys like it. And if you want to know how to get this look, then just keep watching. I started out by priming my eyes with the e.l.f. eyelid primer. It's so affordable and it works really well, so I thought that I would just use this one because I know that everybody can get their hands on it, and I'm just blending that in with my fingers. And all of the eyeshadow colors that I'm using are by Starlux, and this palette is so gorgeous. The first color I'm using is this kind of bronzy color, and the pigmentation of it is so amazing. And I'm just packing that all over my lid, and of course you don't have to be too neat with this because we are going to be blending it out. And to do that, I'm going to use this flesh tone color here and a fluffy blending brush, and I'm just going to blend that into my crease, and it's also going to sort of act as a transition color because we are going to be darkening up the outer corner. And I'm using this dark matte brown shade, and I'm just going to put that on a small crease brush and just kind of blending that into the outer corner of my eye slightly to get the intensity that I want. You can keep building it up and just blending it out until it gets to the way that you like it. For my brow bone highlight, I'm using this even lighter, creamy color. It's got a bit of shimmer, but it's nothing too overwhelming, and I'm packing that on to my brow bone. And I felt like the outer corners of my eyes could be a little bit more intense, so I'm using this matte black color, and I'm just taking this tiny detail brush, and I'm basically darkening up the outer V of my eye, and I'm barely putting any product on there, and then I'm just blending it out to make it all soft and smooth. So for under my eyes, I'm using this shimmery dark purple color, and I'm just putting that right onto my bottom lash line, but I'm not going in too far to the inner corner of my eyes, and I'm just going to blend it out slightly with that same little detail brush. But I'm also making sure that I leave space for an inner corner highlight. And to blend out that dark purple color, I'm taking this matte purple color. It's a bit lighter, of course. And I'm just taking it on a tiny fluffy brush and just kind of blending it out and making it all smoky. So for the inner corner highlight that we left space for, I'm taking a combination of these two colors. It's basically a shimmery purpley gray and a shimmery white. And I'm just applying that right into the inner corners of my eyes. And this is totally optional, but I thought that a cat eye would look really good, so I'm using my Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner and just doing a kind of medium cat eye. It's not too thin or too thick, but of course you can do it however you want, and then you can apply your favorite mascara. I'm just using the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara, but I'm only putting this onto my top lashes because we're going to do a colored mascara on the bottom lashes. And since I was going to do that, I figured a colored eyeliner would look really cool as well. Again, this was so spontaneous. I didn't exactly plan any of this out, so I hope that everyone likes it. And of course, the colored mascara, I'm just going to be using one by Sephora. And this is just like an electric blue mascara. I love this color. I think it looks so cool and just different and kind of edgy. And for my lips, I figured something kind of pink, a little bit of a pop would look kind of nice. So I'm using this matte one by Revlon. On. You can totally leave it just like this or you can add some nude gloss over top just to kind of tone it down a bit If you're feeling like it is a bit too overwhelming So I went ahead and did that as well just so that you could see what it would look like both ways But this is the completed look it is completely spontaneous and a bit out there but I felt like doing something a little different and edgier. Of course, it's not for everybody, but it is fun. And sometimes it's fun to just do something different with your makeup that's out of your comfort zone than what you usually wear. So I hope that you guys like it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all of my social media networks. And I will see you guys in my next video.